Before I start Movie Corner, I have a few words. It's come to my attention that people think my show is boring. Well, excuse me for attempting to appeal to those individuals with attention spans longer than three seconds. Still, must get those ratings up. So tonight, I will be talking a movie a minute. You know, like, like a mile a minute. <sighs> Let's start with Elf. Well, Will Ferrell is of course always funny, and the movie itself is entertaining, charming, inventive, occasionally twisted, family friendly, and makes great strides towards appealing to the child in all of us. It's too bad the ending gets formulaic. <laughs> I've never seen a movie where they had to rescue Santa before. That's sarcasm. Still, a new age holiday classic. Three out of four. Comic book movies are at the moment popular. Still, I have just one thing to say about Spider-Man 2. If they were all as good as Spider-Man 2, I wouldn't have had to suffer through Daredevil. It does drag a little in the middle, but Spider-Man 2 takes Peter Parker to new, dark, emotional areas, and that's what I like to see. Three and a half out of four. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban has also come out on DVD. The first two were glasses half empty, glasses half full kind of affairs, but the third one gets a new director, takes chances, makes a departure from the text, and ends up an overall better movie. Plus the awesome clock thing. Three out of four. Well, my time draws short, but first a look at some great holiday films. A Christmas Story, a story of Christmas set in the 1940s, three and a half out of four stars. About a Boy, a story about a boy finding love during the holiday season, three and a half out of four stars. The Muppet Christmas Carol. The Christmas Carol with Muppets. Pretty self-explanatory. Three out of four stars. This is K Xavier K wishing you good night and happy holidays.